Good evening, children. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? How are you all? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Also good. Hello. Hello. Ma'am. Yes. So how are your preparations for the for your exams going on? Ma'am, fine, ma'am. Okay. Everyone's? Ma'am, I had my maths exam today, ma'am. Okay. How did it go? It went good, ma'am. Yes? It was easy. It was easy? Yes. Very nice. That means you knew. No? So those who know the things, they find the paper easy. Isn't that? Yes. Okay. So what chapters were there? Mom's fractions, integers, knowing our numbers, whole numbers, playing with numbers, and basic geometry. And basic geometry. Okay. That's good. Great. And what about others? Neha? Hello? Neha, when is your exam? Adya? Uh, Mom, good evening. Good evening, Meta. Neha, when is your exam? Mom, my exams are already done. Okay, the, how, your half an exams are done? Yes, Mom. Okay, so your results are out? Yes, Mom. Okay, what is your maths result? Uh, 78 out of 80. Oh, that's nice. Good. And how about other subjects? Ma'am, those also um, came pretty well. Okay. And what is the total percentage? Uh, Ma'am, they don't give percentage for me. Okay. okay. So that's nice. Good. Thank yes, you, huh. Yes, Abhya? Ma'am, tomorrow onwards my exams are starting, ma'am. Okay, so first when is exam math? is maths, ma'am. First, first exam is maths? Yes, ma'am. Okay, from tomorrow, that is tomorrow. So what topics are coming in your exam tomorrow? Ma'am, uh, pa uh, patterns in mathematics and geometrical shapes, ma'am. Geometrical shapes, good. Okay. So are you prepared for it? Are you prepared for it? Yes, ma'am. Good. All the best. Okay. Do well. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, children. So today I'm revising the chapter decimals. Okay. Yes, everyone. Okay, ma'am. In every class, we are revising one one chapter. So today is decimals. Okay, so here it is. Now see, in decimals, you know, you have the place value chart with you, no? In your place values, the units place, you have a special place for your units place, then tens place, then hundreds, thousands. Yes, can you give us integers? Yes? Mom, can you revise integers? Integers we just revise. Just in a, a previous class or before that, before uh, this, before elementary shapes, we just revised uh, integers only, no? I had given for the Sunday test also integers. Yes, ma'am. Okay, in the last 15 minutes, we'll take up a little bit of integers then, okay? Because we had just revised. Ma'am, no need, ma'am. What so no thought that you didn't revise. What happened, beta? Ma'am, I thought that you didn't revise, ma'am. 
we revised with them. Okay, we revised. Before elementary shapes, we had revised integers. And I had given you that same weekend, I had given you for the test also. If you yes, ma'am. I think subjective test was there for that. Yes, ma'am. Still, if you want, then we have, uh, we can spend last 15 minutes on that. Ma'am, no need, ma'am. Okay. Mama, I actually have a doubt in the objective test. Okay, yes, please. Uh, Mom, one of the options, the correct option was wrong. Uh, yes. That was increase in perimeter of a, um, of, of a shape, of a, of a heptagon. Of a heptagon, okay. Yes, uh -huh. Mama put the answer as seven centimeter. Of uh -huh. each side, they said one centimeter has increased. So the yes, increase in perimeter will be seven centimeters, but it's yes, in forty-two centimeters or something. See, one side was given seven centimeters, and heptagon is a seven-sided figure, is it? No, ma'am. One side was given a five centimeter each. Uh -huh. So one side is given seven centimeter, no? Ma'am, five centimeter. Five centimeter. Okay. Five centimeter. So its perimeter. Uh -huh. So its perimeter will be five into seven. And what will it be if the if the length is increased by one centimeter? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. But means... uh, they said the increase in cent uh, perimeter. Yes, ma'am. So it will be 7 centimeters. Yes, ma'am. No, you were asked to find the increase in perimeter. Yes, ma'am. And the given ma condition... One second, one person speak. And the given condition was that, that the length is increased by 1 centimeter. Yes, ma'am. Earlier it was 5. When it was increased, it became 6 centimeters. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And the length... Uh, and the figure is a heptagon. Okay, and how much is the new perimeter? That is asked. So, new perimeter will be 6 into 7? Mom, but they asked the increase in perimeter, not the new increase perimeter. Increase in the perimeter. So, so, initially the perimeter will be 5 into 7. So, that will be 35 centimeters. But and, they didn't ask the perimeter. Uh -huh. So, the new perimeter will be 42. 6, 7 will be 42. So then you have, what is the increase in the perimeter? So that is 42 minus 35. Yeah. So 42 seven. minus 35 will be 7 centimeters. Mom, but the correct option says 42 centimeters. Correct answer is 42. Okay, then they must be giving you the new perimeter. In the answer, it must be given the new perimeter. Okay. We are finding the difference between the old and the new perimeter. So maybe the answer is given like that. The increase in the new perimeter, that's 42. Hmm? Yes, Neha? Um, okay, ma'am. Otherwise, if we are to find the difference between the new and the old perimeter, then that's 7 only. Okay. Okay, well, Okay, so coming to the place values. Right. Now see children, in your uh, decimals we have, you always have ones place here, tens place as you can see here, ones place, tens place, hundreds and so on. Okay, thousand, ten thousand and so on. And on the other side, that means when you move towards the right hand side, here in between you have a decimal point. Right? So this is the tenth place. Then the next, in, in your right hand side, there is no ones place. Okay? It starts from tenth place. Then you have hundredth place. Then you have thousand and so on. Like this. Okay? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so please say yes or no. Okay, so these are the place values. Now let's see, write the following as numbers in the given table. Okay, so you have to write here. 
what place values are there. For the first one, you have three blocks here in the tens place, then one in the ones place. So what is the number? Who can tell me? Two in the tens um, place. One, one, one point. See, this is two in the tens place. You can see two objects in the tens place. Two. I'll write here. In one three. place, you have one object. I'll write one here. In tens place, I have three objects. Right? And hundreds place, nothing is there. Okay? So, this is the number. Yes, Understanding everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, Adya, Adya, tell me this one. In the tenth place, you have how many objects here? Hello? Trilokya, tell me. Mom, four, mom. Four in the tenth place and tenth place? One. One. There is nothing in the ones place, right? So I, when there is nothing there, that place will be vacant. So I'll put zero. And what at hundreds place? Mom, one. One object, one big object, right? Yes. Okay, so this is a number. Okay. Write the following decimals in the place value table. Okay, now you have to write them in the place value table. So can you write it in your notebook, everyone? Everyone, you will be showing me on the screen. Everyone has to write this. Question number two, all the four parts, write in the respective place value. So write a, make a place value chart here. Okay, so ones, tens, hundreds, okay, thousand, and then you have tenth place also you have to make the table like this. So write down the number also for which number are you writing? Done. Yes, Neha, tell me the first one. Mom, the first one is um four in the tenth place. Tenth place. Tenth place, okay. And nine in one's place. And one in tenth place. Good. Tell me the next one. Mom, uh, three in the tenth place. Mm -hmm. And zero in the one's place. Okay. Next. Okay, Trilokya, tell me the next one. Mom, one in the ten, ten, ten place, ten. Mm -hmm. uh, zero in the ones place, and six in the tenth place. Good. Yes, uh, Harshit. Mom, Mom, two in the hundredth place. Zero in the tens place, five in the ones place, point, and nine in the tens place. Yes, very good. Good. Now write each of the following as decimals. You have to write the decimal form of this. Okay. Let me see. Here is a chart. I think Adya's mic is not working today. Yes. Okay. Neha, tell me this. Seven tenths. What is the decimal of this? Mom, 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Very good. Trilokya, two tenths and nine tenths. Mom, 
20.9 yes 20.9 okay don't be doubtful be confident yes harshit next one ma'am 14.6 ma'am ah uh, this is clearly written like this this is yes, not ma'am this is not the way actually of writing okay okay tell me this harshit 102 ones ma'am 100 102.0. टू वन हंड्रेड एंड टू वन हंड्रेड एंड टू पॉइंट जीरो नेक्स्ट नेहा सिक्स हंड्रेड पॉइंट एट हाँ इट्स क्लियरली राइट ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग दिस So let's do with one some few of the questions. Okay, Neha, what is the decimal formation of this? Man, zero point five. Zero point five. Okay, Trilokya, tell me the decimal formation for the C part. Um, Mom, two hundred sixty eight point one. Two hundred sixty five point one. Okay, Harshit. Mom, mom, seven, seven point, seven point eight. Which one? Mom, I'm asking. Okay, this is seven point eight. B, mom. B. I'm asking E, E bit. E, mom. Yes, yes. Mom, eight point eight. Eight point eight. This was seventy point eight. Okay. Yes, mom. Okay. Okay. Now tell me the decimal expansion of this, Neha. Mom, it's. Mom, the fifth question. Yes. Um, it's six by ten. It's six by ten. Ah, uh, this is decimal expansion. I'm asking decimal expansion. Quickly, you can find out. Convert it to improper fraction, or otherwise also you can do four plus two by ten. Four plus two by ten will be zero point two. So this will be four point two. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Next, three by two. Yeah, Harshit. Ma'am. Three by two. Ma'am, it is one point five. One point five. One point five. Very good. Ah, uh, Trilokya, two by five. Yes, they look okay. Quickly, you can divide and check. Yes, they look okay. Am I didn't understand? See, this is two by five. How will you convert it to the decimal form? Two by ten. Just. Ah, uh, sorry, not two by ten, two by five. So just divide two by five. This is decimal here. This is four. Five four is twenty. So that's zero point four. Understood now? Yes, ma'am. You didn't understand the others. See here for four one four two by ten. Then this was written four two by ten. What did I do? It can be written like this also. Four plus two by ten. So two by ten is what zero point two. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. So four plus zero point two can be written as four point two. Yes, ma'am. Similarly, for the next one G part, it was three by two. So three by two can be written as this is an improper fraction. So two one by two and plus one. Like this, we can write three one the three by two. Yes, ma'am. 
this is one way of writing. So this will be 1 plus 0 0.5. 1 plus 0 0.5, which is equal to 1.5. Or otherwise, you can just divide and check. 2 ones are 2 like this. 2 fives are 10. Okay? Okay. Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. Sure? Yes, ma'am. Or still have some doubts? Ma'am, no, ma'am. No, no, I understood. Okay. Now tell me about 12 by 5. Um. See, 12 by 5. There are different methods you can do with. See, 12, you can write it like this also. 10 plus 2 by 5. You can write it like this. Yes. This is one way of doing. Or you can directly just divide 12 by 5. That also you can do. Okay? Okay. So, if you are just dividing, so that is 5, 2 will be 10. Then you have 2 here. Then point four. Okay? So, you get 2.4. And if you do with this method, 10 by 10 plus 2 by 5, this will be 10 by 5 plus 2 by 5. So, 5, 10 by 5 will be nothing but 2 only. And 2 by 5 is, we just did here, 0 0.4. So, 2 plus 0 0.4 will be 2.4. So, this is one way of doing. Or you can just simply divide and check. Okay. 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 Now, tell me this 3, 3 by 5, 3 lokya. See, when you have a mixed fraction, you can just split it. 3 plus 3 by 5. Okay? So, okay. now you divide 3 with three, uh, 3 with 5 and get your decimal. Everyone, please do. Yes, Trilokya, what is the decimal expansion? Mom, I'm still doing this one. Divide um, by five. K1. Huh? Ma'am, K1. J, J, J. J, ma'am. Yes. Divide 3 with 5. Look here, 3 look here. See, you will write why the videos are off. Please turn on your videos. Ma'am, I got the answer. Okay. Why the videos are off? 3 look here, Neha, Adya. Turn on your videos. In every class, I tell you to keep your videos on. Now, see, this is 3 plus 3 by 5. I told you to split it, split this fraction like this. Understood this part, Trilokya? Now, you want the expansion, uh, decimal expansion of 3 by 5. So, just divide 3 by 5. Okay, now 3 is a smaller number than 5, so you will not, you cannot divide, you will take a decimal point here. Then you have a 0 here. Now 5, 6 is 30. Yes? So your decimal expansion is 0 0.6. Okay? Now when you add 3 plus 0 0.6, what do you get? 3.6. 3.6. So, this 3.6 is the decimal expansion of 3, 3 by 5. Understood now? Yes. Okay, Trilokya, do this one now. 4, 1 by 2. Ma'am, I got the same answer. Okay, beta. Very good. Do for 4, 1 by 2.
4, 1 by 2 in general terms, how do you read it? 4 and a half? 4.5. Ah, so you read it as 4 and a half, no? So 4 and a half is 4.5. Okay. See for fractions like 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 3 by 4. If you read, read them as 4, 1, 4. 4.5, 4 and a half, 4, 3, 4, like that. Okay. Next question is, write the following decimals as fraction and reduce the fraction to lowest form. Okay. So, now the decimals are given to you. You have to write them in the fraction form and then reduce it to a lower form. Understood what you have to do? I'll show you one. See this, I'm showing you the first one. The decimal is 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 can be written as 6 by 10. Yes, now they both are even numbers. I have to reduce it to lower form. Lower form means when they don't have any common factor between them other than 1. So it both can go with 2, 2, 3 by 6, 2, 5 by 10. Now 3 and 5 are such numbers. They don't have any other common factor other than 1. They are 4 prime numbers. So that means this is the lowest form. Okay? Yes, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. now please do the rest. Do all the parts. Okay, let's start now. Neha, tell me for 2.5. Ma'am, for 2.5, it is... Uh, 2, 1 by 5. 2, 1 by 2. No, 2, 1 by 5. No, no I don't want in a mixed fraction. Just give me a normal fraction. Lowest form. No, 5 by 2. 5 by 2. Okay. How do you get that? No, first, uh, it's 2 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 2, yeah. And you get, you, when you add them, you get one, 2, 1 by 2. And you convert it into improper fraction. So, see, 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10. Right? So, I divided both the numbers with 5. 5, 5 so is 25, 5, 2 so is 3. And so, I got 5 by 2. Okay? Understood this? Trilokya, are you understanding? 
Neha, what is the expansion of this 1.0? Mom, 1.0 is... Mom, the expansion... Uh, sorry, not expansion. Fraction, uh, lowest form. Uh, Mom, it's just one. It's just one. Okay, 1 1.0 is nothing but one only, no? Having zero after the decimal is nothing. Just it's one only. Okay. Harshit, tell me for 3.8. And 3.8? Yes, Meta. And it's 19 by 5. 19 by 5. Very good. Okay, so 3.8 can be written as 38 by 10. 38 by 10. Uh, now, when I reduce this with 2, 2, 19, 19. and 2, 5. 5. So, that gets 19 by 5. Very good. Okay, Harshit, tell me for 13.7. 13.7, 137 by 10. 137 by 10. 10. Good. Okay, Trilokya, tell me this. Mom, 106 by 5. 106 by 5. Okay, so that became 212 by 10 and when you reduced it, it's this only. Okay, Trilokya, tell me the next, 6.4. Um, Mom, 32 by 5. This is 32 by 5. Okay. Express the following as centimeter using decimals. You have to convert this to centimeter. So, please convert this V part 33 millimeter. How many millimeters is 1 centimeter? Mom, 10. 100. Oh, oh. Who is this? 10 ma millimeter is 1 centimeter. So you are asking centimeter, ma'am. Ah, centimeter. So that's centimeter and meter. No. Okay. So you can see your scale also. Just see the 1 centimeter in your scale. So you can see some 10 small lines there. Isn't that? Yes. So you can see 10 millimeter. That's millimeter. So 10 millimeter is 1 centimeter. Now convert 30 millimeter to centimeter, Trilokya. When you convert millimeter to centimeter, from a smaller unit, you are converting to a bigger unit. So you divide. Okay? Yes, tell me how many centimeters it is? 3 centimeters. 3 centimeters. Okay. Harshit, 116 millimeter is how many centimeters? Nine, 100. Ah, 116. 116, ma'am. Uh -huh. Ma'am, 110.6. 110.6, no. You just divide 116 by 10. So that becomes 11.6 centimeter. Okay, okay ma'am. So that's 11.6 centimeters. Neha, Neha, tell me 4 meter and 24 centimeter and 2 millimeters. From 4.2 centimeters. Ah, so 4 is already in centimeters, so you will not do anything. So 4 plus 2 millimeter will be 0 0.2 centimeters. So that becomes 4.2 centimeters. Good. Next, Adya. Do this and write your answer in the chat box. Trilokya, tell me 83 millimeters is how many centimeters? Mom, 8.3 centimeters. 8.3 centimeters. Good. Okay. Now show the following numbers on the number line. Okay. I am taking away this. On the length of one. Okay. Let's take another. Okay, tell me this. You have to make, uh, write them in decimal form. Okay, this is the expansion given. Write this in decimal form. Touch it. First one. 
Yes, Harshit, give the decimal form of this. Hello? Harshit, can you hear? Mom, I'm doing. T20 plus 9 is 29. Okay. Then you have in the tens place, you can see it's 4 by 10 and hundreds place is 1 by 100. So, Harshit, there is no... 29.41. Yes, 29.41. Okay. Trilokya, tell me this next one. Mom, 137.05. 137.05. Neha, tell me the next one. Mom, 0 0.764. 0 0.764. Very good. Harshit, tell me, did it? Mom, 23.2006. Very good. Trilokya, tell me, did it? Uh, 725.09. Very nice. Okay. So you have understood this. Yes, Adya, it's correct. Okay, good, beta. Write each of the following decimals in words. Okay. Okay, tell me, Trilokya, how will you write this in words? 108.56. Mom, 108.56. Mm -hmm. Just give the place values of every number. That's it. Um, 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 mom, like this, mom, 100 plus 8 plus... 100. 8 ones, 5 tens, and 600. Yes? Yes. Okay, in words, you don't have to do anything. Just give the place values of every number. That's it. Right? Okay. Neha, tell me this. 0 0.032. Mom, 0.032. Three hundreds and two thousands. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Yes. Uh, Harshit, tell me five point zero zero eight. Not five. This one. Eight thousand. Huh. Five point zero zero eight. Yes, ma'am. Five point eight thousands. No, you sh you should not say point, beta. See, see the position of this is five, five ones. So five ones five and hundred. eight thousand. Okay. It's five ones and eight thousand. All right. Between which two numbers in tenth place and the number nine does each of the given number nine point nine. Okay. Just note down this number and take this for homework. Draw a nine. Draw a number line and you have to locate these points on the number line. Between which two numbers we have to say. Okay. It's between which two numbers. You don't have to write in the number line. Just mention between which two numbers. Okay. Take this for homework. Just note down all the numbers here. And if you have exam tomorrow, then no problem. You can do it after the exam. The homework can be done after the exam. Okay. Or related, may I give you these two questions for homework? Okay? <clears throat> okay, children, I'll post it. Right? Okay. okay. So, thank you for today. Thank you for thank joining you. the class. Okay, bye-bye. I'll give you bye, one. Have a nice day. Thank you, Vita. You too. Wish you all the best, those who have exam tomorrow.